Hello again, a new day, a new project. Look at this beautiful weather, finally sunshine. After a few days of heavy snowing in March, this is nuts. But anyway, luckily the spring is coming. So here I have a new toy. It came from Germany and this is a new mini oscilloscope. Very nice etui carrying bag that came with probe, 10x probe, and this is beautiful, 1x, 10x. We have a simple probe, BNC crocodile here. We have a power supply, a charger, because this little one have a battery inside, micro USB cable. Here we are, the piece of resistance. And this is, this is FNIRC 1C15, it's a mini oscilloscope. We have a stand here just like this you can see here one kilohertz signal generator we have the micro usb connection here the bnc for um, probes here we have a led for charging it turns blue when it's charged and it's red when it's charging let's turn it on booting very fast and a lot of buttons for direct command of the mini oscilloscope and also a lot of functions in the main. Let's hook it to the signal generator inside. 10X now. Let's press auto and wait. Maybe it needs a little bit of adjustment. Yes. It have this auto and this is a really great function because it saves a lot of time you know, for uh, trying to reach the right frequency and the right waveform. Okay, some more about this little uh, mini oscilloscope. We have one channel. The screen size is uh, 2.4 inches, 320 on 240. The analog bandwidth is 110 megahertz. Sample rate 500 mega samples per second. Rise time less than three nanoseconds. Storage depth is 240 kilopoints. Time base range is from five nanoseconds to 10 seconds charging 5 volts 800 milliamps for the internal battery of course trigger mode auto and normal then we have the coupling ac or dc one key automatic on just stand by 14 types of waveform measurement accuracy plus minus two percent that's pretty good and then we have waveform on standby reference swarm on standby Frequency accuracy plus and minus 0.01%. Input resistance 1 mega ohm on 1x, of course. Single trigger on standby. 50% back here and by. Operation method buttons plus joystick. The trigger type it's rising edge or falling edge. The display mode it's IT on scroll. After glow time it can be set to none, one second or infinite. Well, now it's on non. Vertical sensitivity from 20 millivolts per division to 100 volts per division. Voltage measurement on 1x with a direct probe with this one, let's say, or the other one on 1x. It can be maximum 40 volts. But if you use the, the other probe, you know, this one, on 10x then we can measure up to 400 volts that's more than enough waveform analysis support drag and expand chinese and english language dimensions 130 or 76 and 27 millimeters capacity of the battery is 3000 milliamps and uh, accessories i showed you before high voltage probe alligator probe creek data cable charger and manual now about the menu a little bit. So from select button, we can choose for the trigger to go up and down or the whole wave form. Now the whole wave form will go up and down. Now it's only the trigger going up and down. If we go with the trigger outside the wave, it starts desynchronization. Within this time base, we can move the waveform left or right. We can go to analyze some other parts of the wave and if you really want to make it even smaller then we go to time base here 500 microseconds and we can explore more 
of the wave. Okay, so that's about moving the waveform left right. Then, uh, if we press the menu button, we open the interface. We flip the joystick up and down to switch categories. Then you can select more items from the category on the left and right. Click OK button to confirm and setting. Push menu, joystick up, we go to different menu. What we got there? DC, AC, probe 1X or 10X. So we can choose it from here, but we also can choose it directly from the buttons on the front panel. Let's go to the next one, measuring. This is what we need to see on the display. Uh, measurement of frequency, peak to peak, uh, duty, amplitude, minus amplitude, plus, maximum voltage, minimum voltage period, and RMS voltages, uh, and many others. We'll talk about this a little bit later. It's about the persistence of the display. Now it's on non. You can choose it to one second to infinite. I don't like that, so just let it normal. Now, Okay, what about triggering? We have the trigger on auto, on normal, rise or fall. Well, it's on rise now. This is a calibration. If you push OK, then the, the instrument is calibrating itself without probes or anything. And then we have the final one. It's about setting the language, English or Chinese. Evidently, we are in English. So that's about the menu. All the other functions are very straight from the buttons. Here we have the auto button. That's a really nice feature. So it goes straight to the waveform, catching, capturing and analyzing the waveform times and everything else. So you don't need to work too hard around this. Then we have the measurements on the screen. Then 1x, 10x. That's according to the voltage we are measuring and of course according to the frequency and the probe. When you are using the probe on 10x over here you have to make the same adjustment on the oscilloscope then. AC, DC coupling. Now we are on AC evidently. When it push 15% then everything turns to the center. Uh, we also can choose what to go to the center, the trigger, the wave. For me, I just let it like this with everything. After you choose what you need, you press OK. So now let's say we are like that and the wave goes like this. We, we just push 50% and everything should go to the center. Voila! Next one, it's the reference. Reference, it's a, a kind of compare, recorded email with a new waveform. So then you can, uh, you can have a clear idea about how was it and if any change in the meantime. Here we have the time bait. It's very nice like this. They put the buttons in a very intuitive way. So if you want to change the time base, if you want to make it bigger, go to n seconds if you want to make it smaller i mean the image of course the waveform i'm not talking about the time itself so it's very intuitive you know it's left right left right it's exactly like the wave it's on display and here we have the sensitivity lower higher these two dedicated buttons are very well and pleasant here. It's very intuitive too, because everything goes on the vertical scale and it's easy to remember. So, bigger, smaller, higher, lower, very nice. Of course, stop, it's freezing the display. That's a single shot for uh, the trigger. Then we have the save function. Now it's saved to see the pictures. You just, push, you just push save more and we already have one there. Okay, let's go out from here and of course select, it's doing the triggering up there. You see it's changing that sign. We've been talking about this before. So now it's moving only the trigger when we have the arrow. If we have the arrow on the left, we can move the whole display, the whole waveform. Let's go back to center. Okay. Well, 
This is about the menu. It's a very simple and intuitive menu. All the buttons are exactly on the right place. The joystick is a really nice feature. And we'll start having some real measurements. 